Good morning, guys. Um, it's 10 after 7. This load just got here half an hour ago at 6 30 in the morning. When was this supposed to be here? Um, a few days ago? Uh, yeah, it was supposed to have been here two days ago, and then, and then dispatch told me yesterday that it was supposed to be here at 5 30 last night. It just got here. Um, I have no idea what the situation was, whether it was, you know, a tire blowout on the trailer or something, but, yeah. Whatever. So, we're hooked up to it. Whoever had it didn't fare sumptuously. No. Something happened somewhere along the way. Um, but whatever. Uh... 328 miles we have fuel stop Tom says 1240 so with fuel stop and potential traffic between 1 and 1 30 in the afternoon um, it's Christmas Eve for us so I'm thinking that lots of patience is gonna be needed today we have to deal with Dallas because um, we're going up north of Dallas just slightly so I think we're going to need lots of patience to deal with holiday traffic. Right now, coming over from the other yard, traffic doesn't look bad here in Little Rock. And it probably won't pick up for a little while. Everybody's sleeping in because everybody's on vacation. So we need to book it as far as we can get before the traffic picks up. I do not have a pre-plan. I don't know what's going to happen. If I hear something before I deliver, I'll figure it out. Otherwise, we're going to go back to our Dallas yard and wait for a pre-plan. I'm really hoping there is something. Uh, at least something to at least bring us back to Little Rock. Because this yard is cram-packed full. So, I'm sure there's something here on the yard that will serve us to get home. Uh... At least it didn't get here in the middle of the night and we had to get up and go take it. They changed the appointment time. I did notice that they changed the appointment time, but it says 10 a.m. It won't be here, but it won't be there by 10 a.m. because it's a uh, almost five hour, five and a half hour drive, and that's not even taking traffic into account. So I guess where did it come from? Do you know? I have no idea. I'd have to look at the bills. We have to go get the bills from the gates. And uh, then we're ready to get rolling, I guess. Are we ready? We're ready. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with some holiday traffic.
We have made it to our drop. We dropped our loaded trailer. Got an empty trailer. I was kind of afraid based on how much she was, the guard was messing around with the computer. She was going to say there wasn't any empties. But we have an empty trailer. But we have no load. So, I guess we'll go over to the yard. I can't stay here. There's no truck stops anywhere. Um, my dispatch information or the directions that I have says there's a Walmart a mile away. But I looked at it on Trucker Path and they've started towing trucks. Besides, I don't even want to attempt to get into a Walmart parking lot with a trailer. No way, no how, not on Christmas Eve. So, traffic was not bad at all. We got into a little jam up uh, right coming into Dallas, but it was just like any other day. Wasn't any different. Traffic was not been bad. Um, I took the turnpike around Dallas though, so I don't know what 635 looks like. So... Waiting out my 30 minute clock. Only got two minutes left. Um, are you talking to the Swifty? Not anymore. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. I guess we'll go to the yard. And I just know it. As soon as we get over there and get parked, they'll send us a load. Probably. Most likely. Anyway. You ready to get out of here? Ready to get out of here. Let's go. pre-plan um it's going down to the paper mill in arkansas to pick up a load uh and taking it back to little rock but the load will not be ready before 12 30 in the afternoon tomorrow christmas day um the window is 12 30 to midnight tomorrow so it tom says it is 309 miles to the plant, 449 miles total, although he wants me to do a whole bunch of weird stuff in Arkansas that we're not going to pay any attention to, as usual. It's about 450 miles total. So, I didn't, we talked about it, and neither one of us really sees the point in leaving here today. I mean, we could possibly get all the way there today i mean it's 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 a lot of u.s highways running out straight across us 82 but what's the point if it won't be ready until tomorrow so we're gonna stay here tonight um we're gonna order chinese food because there's a place that um here that will deliver here that's got excellent chinese food uh and then we'll just get up and do the whole thing tomorrow. We'll get up on our regular time because there's really no sense in being early to the appointment because it likely won't be ready. Um, they're usually good about having our trailers loaded on time. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to sit and wait on it. But this 
this load that we're getting ready to do, it's going to put us up in Little Rock the evening of Christmas, which puts us perfectly placed to go home. They'll likely have us grab something off the yard or an empty trailer off the yard and go home with it. Um, and that will only put us home a day early if we drive it all. I don't know, I'll have to think about that tomorrow. It's too much to think about today. So it's like 2.15 in the afternoon, so we're just going to relax. This last week, and this is another reason I won't stay out over Christmas. This last week, we've done a lot of sitting. Um, the, the loads haven't been incredibly stable. It hasn't been a consistent, I deliver, go straight to a pickup. Deliver, go straight to a pickup. It's not been consistent. There's been times where we've been sitting, and I don't particularly care for that. Part of it is, A, it's the holidays. B, all of the regular staff is out of the office because it's the holidays. My dispatcher is awesome. She generally always has me pre-planned before I deliver. Almost always. I hardly ever have to wait on a load. Which is awesome. But, hopefully, since the New Year's getting ready to roll around, um, things will start picking back up. And we'll be back to running consistent. Would you knock it off and quit being a pain? Sorry. So... Yeah, it's been kind of a boring day. All things go well tomorrow. Traffic, realistically, we're going to take 30 back over to Texarkana and drop down on the U.S. highways. So, in the morning, everybody's going to be opening Christmas presents. And by the time everybody starts leaving to go to Granny and Gramps for dinner, we should be off the interstates and on the back roads where the traffic won't be bad. When are we opening our Christmas present? Our Christmas present won't be until we go home. Because we have to wait for it. In the mail. Um, Santa does not use snail mail. Well, when this girl is Santa, she uses snail mail because... How exactly am I supposed to go to a Verizon store in a truck? Yes, before you guys say anything, I know there are Verizon stores and truck stops. I don't like dealing with the stores. I never have. I do all my stuff online. Are you telling me I'm married to Santa? No. Thank God. That's the things that make you go... <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like I said, I got a new phone. I did not get another iPhone. Um... You got so, a nose phone. Huh? You got a nose phone. Right, I got a nose phone. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what I got yet, uh, because once I get it and uh, get it set up and get it and get it tested for a couple of days, I'd like to put together a little review video maybe on what I think of it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I hope it's going to be good, and, uh, and it could possibly allow us to do some other stuff that I just can't do with the iPhone. So... I'm excited. I'm ready for a new phone. Oh, and of course, you know, we've been having all these problems with our alarms not going off at the proper times. Well, yeah, this morning, when I... Turns out I didn't need my alarms to go off at the proper times. They worked. I don't know. It's... I don't know. Yeah, or when we have to get up... Got off early, they work. Oh, well, yeah, of course. When we have to get up earlier than normal... The alarms work fine. When we don't, they don't work. I don't know. My phone's stupid. It's time for a new one. Time, time for a new one. What's going on back there? Science. Temperature differentials. So, I think I'm going to take all my junk inside and edit. I'm actually mostly caught up on editing. I guess I can do both of them since I got plenty of time. Uh, and then we'll watch TV, eat Chinese food. Chill like dill pickles. And chill like dill pickles. Stop talking about food. I haven't ate today. I'm starving. I'm hungry, hungry. It takes like an hour for food to get here. At least we got showers last night so we won't be crunchy like dill pickles. No, this is true. Alright, 
that thing? You ready to do your thing? You got a joke for me? I can only think of one, so you'll have to make do with that one. It better be a good one. No, I don't know. Alright, tell your joke. There was a little girl who lived in the country. Uh-huh. And they were kind of far removed from city and civilization and stuff like that. And they, they could see the church from the house, so... Her parents would allow her to walk to church and she was excited on her way to Sunday school and got a brand new dress and she's wearing her brand new dress to church and she overslept. Uh oh, I know that feeling. She got up and she just knew that she was going to be late and so she hurried up and got dressed and put on her brand new dress and ran out the door and started praying, Lord, please don't let me be late. Lord, please don't let me be late. Please don't let me be late. About that time, she tripped and fell, ripped her dress and got dirt on it. And she got up and dusted herself off and took off running again and said, Lord, please don't let me be late, but please don't shove me either. <laughs> That's cute. Anything else, thing? Negative. Alright, you know the drill, guys. If you guys are liking the videos, make sure you're subscribing. Down below, guys, we kind of hit a plateau on our subscribers. We're not getting any more. Share them. Share them with your friends and family. Talk to people. Tell people. Send them my way. Um, put them on Facebook. Put them on Twitter. You can find both of us on Twitter. I'm at Ashalox1. That guy is at Traveler Thing. Come hang out with us. We have a pretty good time. All kinds of fun, goofy stuff happens on Twitter. If you don't have anything else, I guess. Other than what we nowhere near say enough, we appreciate you guys watching. Definitely. Every last one of you, we really, really appreciate it. And if you guys, like we said earlier, if you guys have any input, any feedback on the videos, Feel free to tweet us, put it in the comments. I read all the comments, guys. So you guys aren't getting missed down in the comments section. Uh, other than that, y'all have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bright and early. Not bright and early, I'm getting up to regular time. <laughs>